Hey, what's Adam Fotex, but now one here. It is Saturday, which means it's the Mud Weekend. We have two new Legends in packs and a new limited edition BCA card. Let's check them out. Check out the new limited edition Muhammad Wilkerson, 92 overall left end. This guy's card is amazing. 78 speed, 98 block shed, 95 strength, 96 power move, 87 play recognition, good tackle. I compared this guy to JJ Watt, and JJ Watt's around the same exact price, and man, Wilkerson is a pretty comparable matchup to JJ Watt. Now, J.J. Watt's amazing, but I man, Wilkerson card, if you got 300,000 coins, you want one of those two. I mean, like, it's 1A, 1B. Like, you pretty much pick one of these two guys. You can't go wrong. Both these guys play in the same type of scheme, whereas Muhammad Wilkerson might be more utilized on the interior, while J.J. Watt's good on both the interior and the outside. But based off these attributes, these cards look pretty much identical. Uh, this Wilkerson right now is in packs. I'm not too sure if you can pull it out of the pro packs or any other pack that comes out in the game, maybe all Madden or stuff like that. But I do think you have a better chance of pulling this guy out of the BCA pack, which is kind of unfortunate because I know some of you guys want to open up packs right now, but you guys don't have the money to, but you have the coins. So I would wait until they, I guess, tweet out if these uh, cards are able to be pulled out of pro packs. My guess is probably not. One of the highest overall legends in the game next to Ray Lewis is his mean Joe Green, so you Steeler fans you might want to pick him up. He has 96 strength, 96 block shit, 97 power move. That's just crazy. 90 pursuit even for a guy that big with 94 tackle. I like this guy's card. Very expensive right now. My best to tackle was Steve McLinden, who I don't even use right now. And he's it's like he dwarfs in comparison to Mean Joe Green. I'm glad he does. Even though Mean Joe Green might be the best to tackle in the game, you guys still might be able to find value out of the guys who are kind of comparable in talent. As of right now, we only have the rookie legend cutting him on the auction block. Let's check him out right quick. 84 speed, 86 awareness, 91 throw power, 83 throw short, 81 throw mid, 87 throw deep. That's a really good throw deep for this guy's car right now. And judging by this dude's price, I mean, that elite car is going to go for like a million coins. Like, that's crazy. I'm going to assume the elite badge just probably rose up in price. The legendary collectible for this collection probably is like 100,000 coins, 100, coins a piece. And you guys can see Cunningham's already expensive. And looking at his elite card, like, it's a pretty nice card. It's kind of a low overall being a 92, but the throwing attributes are amazing. Like, I put the picture on the screen so you guys can see, but this Cunningham, it's a pretty amazing card. And I can honestly see that guy being utilized for a long while. He's better than Cam Dude, he's better than Colin Kaepernick, he's better than Russell Wilson. And if his price comes down to a respectable range, people can, can afford him, he might be the quarterback that you guys see and frustrates you all the time in gameplay. BCA packs are back in the game. This time you can buy five of them instead of three, which is pretty cool. Pretty much these packs cost about $3.50 because points are pretty much the same equivalent as money. Way Madden got it set this year. So $3.50 for one BCA pack. Yeah, I don't know if that's worth it or not, but I did end up buying the bundle. I bought the bundle. You guys see my points drop down like a lot. I bought the bundle. Um, <laughs> that's about 77 bucks. I'm doing my part to contribute to breast cancer awareness, and I feel good about that purchase, and I'm not too mad about it. And the Elite Topper didn't hurt much either. You get a guaranteed Elite BCA card, and pretty much all of them right now are going for over, like, 50K, which is not bad. That's, like, the best Topper we had all year. Like, that's better than that awful Game Changer Metal Topper I bought back in, like, what, two weeks ago? That Topper was horrible. Here's a David Emerson and 100 contract. So now the Topper being an Elite card, and so far, they're all still at 50K. Uh, you got Doug Martin, Arian Foster, Joe Staley, you got uh, Demarius Thomas, and I think there's one more. And that's not a bad investment, if you guys ask me. Now, I'm pretty sure the price of those Elite cards will continue to drop into, like, the 30s and 40s, but as long as that Ray Lewis collection is still in the game, and as long as people want those cards on their team, I don't really see those cards losing that much value. I mean, Demarius Thomas did drop like almost 200,000 coins, but that's still not a bad price if you pull Demarius Thomas out of the pack. I think Joe Staley's still over 100,000 coins, and that's really awesome for a topper. And you really can't be too mad if you guys pull Doug Mart or Aaron Foster, because those are still solid amounts of coins. I mean, they're better than the toppers you got recently, and that's all you guys can ask for. So I'm going to save these packs. Right now, I got 28 BCA packs, right? I got 28, or, okay, so I got the BCA topper, and I got 28 BCA packs. And the main reason I'm going to open these packs right now is because I have over 1,000 items in my reserves, and you're only going to have 1,200 items in your binder. And I'm probably going to overflow that very soon. I need to sell some cards, but, I mean, they keep dropping all this content, which I'm grateful for, but it's destroying the auction block, man. So I got to find some time to sell some cards and get some good value for it, and then I'll come back with these packs. It might not be for the next couple of weeks. I might I might keep stacking them up. You guys know me. I like letting packs sit because I like to look at them and just, like, just imagine the greatness that can come out of these packs. So you all know me. Bad luck, Texas. I ain't going to pull a damn thing out of these BCA packs. But, hey. I'm doing my part to contribute to breast cancer research and 
buying these packs gives me the best of both worlds. I can donate to a good cause and get rewarded with packs. It's kind of like, it's, it's cool. I, I, I don't mind that too much. So I really hope I can get some great things out of these packs. Uh, the topper, do I want to open this now or do I want to save it? Like, I don't know what I do with this right now. Do I want to open the topper now or do I want to save it? You know what? Let's just save it. Like, let's just save the topper for now. And we'll come back with a massive BCA pack opening probably at the end of October. I'm like, I'm planning for end of October because I want to buy another bundle. Uh, I'm going to go broke buying these packs. Like, <laughs> I need to get my priorities straight. But, like, man, I'm going to go broke buying these BCA packs because I love this stuff. I might not even open these packs until the Road to the Playoff content drops. You never know. I can hold these packs for a while. But if you guys want to see some more BCA packs stacked up, hit that thumbs up button and I'll go ahead and keep stacking BCA packs on BCA packs on BCA packs and I'll come back with a massive pack opening sometime in the near future. Anyway, folks, that's the video. I'm the Texas Boy. I'll catch y'all mother bleepers later. Peace.